I will show you how to make your tablet much more responsive. First go to Start and click Control Panel. If you don't see it this way, you got to change it to Large Icon. See, this one doesn't show much. You got to show this way. And then go down to Pen and Touch. So click this, then you will see this here. First of all, here, it uh, nothing you can do about it, but third one here. You got to set, uh, click the settings and uncheck this. This should be off. And then the, the next one, you got to go and also uncheck this. We are into unchecking. And the second tablet, uh, tab here, this is the big thing. It, this has to be unchecked. And this also. So I have it just right here. And then you're done with this. Now, if you go down and you go to system, click here. And you click the uh, device manager. And you will see this human interface devices. If this one says Wacom Virtual HID, HID, Human in, in, uh, Interface Devices, if it says Wacom Virtual Tablet, uh, Wacom Virtual Human HID, then you got to disable it. In my case, it doesn't. In my Vista, it did. So I had to disable it. So if you have a Vista, it shows, or if you have whatever it shows, virtual stuff, right click, properties, driver, then you would click this to disable it. In my case, it's not virtual stuff, so I will save it as it is. Okay, so you're done with this here, but we are not done. Now you got to go to my computer icon and right click and manage. This will show up and you got to go to click this here, services and applications and choose services. If you scroll down, then you will see a tablet somewhere showing up. Um, here it is. So now let's read this here because these two are confusing. Tablet service Wacom is fine. This is the problem. Tablet PC input service. So click here and I will do right click. And then I will see the properties. See, it has to be disabled the way I did it here. You may have been running here so you can stop it. But the key is next time you turn on the computer, it has to work right. So you got to disable this here. Not only that, I disabled it. But after the reboot, the problem was still there because it recovered itself. So you got to tell it to not recover itself by clicking here. Then you got to choose take no action. See, look at that. It's got first failure, second failure, uh, subsequent failures. It has all this backup and backup, backup plan to survive and come back alive. You got to just thoroughly wipe it out by choosing this. When you're done, apply. Okay. Then you re reboot this computer and now you should be able to use the tablet without any delays.